Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the monthly weight loss recap for June. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette and this series is where I document my journey to lose weight. So I do that through a daily vlog format and yeah, just kind of recap the month and how I'm doing, how I'm feeling, the ins and outs, the highs and lows of what's going on during the month of me on this journey pretty much so before we get into the recap for june i would ask that you would subscribe so you can keep up with your favorite girl on the internet that's me by the way and like and comment on this video and follow me on instagram so you can keep up with me in real time so without further ado let's get into the june recap i worked out this morning i took it slow um I did 30 minutes on the bicycle and about like eight minutes on it's like the elliptical except it swings more so that's what I did this morning so feel pretty good and now I'm gonna go home and make breakfast oh you also saw me do my abs circuit the exercise is actually like difficult at first and then it get kinds of it gets a little easier but you're really stretching your stomach and then crunching hard so anyways I'm exhausted just finished at the gym I did arms today and then I also did 30 minutes on the stairs and 15 minutes ended with 15 minutes on the bicycle as you just saw Feeling really good. Woke up at four, around four, four. Just gonna kill it today with food. Except today, I have, tonight I have a Johnny Swim concert and everyone wants to go out to eat. So, just gotta make sure I eat healthy at the restaurant. So, currently I am driving home from Trader Joe's. I just went grocery shopping. And today I did not go to the gym because last night I went to a Johnny Swim concert and got home at 11 and I woke up at 6.30 and my bus gets to my house around like 7. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to the gym this morning and I was very, very exhausted. So I'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow. But I went the past couple days, I ate healthy today. Um, yesterday though, I did get fries at the place that we got dinner at. I had salad at home because I forgot we were grabbing dinner. And then I ate fries, like a side of fries. Um, and I had like a couple bites of pretzels, like pretzel bites from my friend at dinner. And then today I only had like two pieces of chocolate. One was dark chocolate and one was regular milk chocolate and then I had a couple chips so that as far as I'm concerned that's been like the cheats but overall it's been really healthy like avocado on toast with egg and bacon and salads oh my goodness Denver is just not equipped for rain it's so interesting too because it's like blue skies but you guys can barely see that um the roads are, I mean, my road right now is fine, but it's like anywhere where there's like a divot is where road is, the rain is wet. I don't know why I'm saying this, because I'm not even going to keep that in the freaking edit. Okay, bye. I've been snoozing my alarm and pushing it back, but it's 4.45. I'm just gonna do cardio today. Cause I'm just really tired. But I know that like once I'm up and I do this workout, it's gonna help wake me up. Which is gonna be good. I just don't wanna go. Cause I'm just so incredibly tired. And my face is so swollen. I'm just waking up. I'm 
so tired. I had my last class last night. I'm also cramping really bad. I'm in a lot of pain. So yeah, I took the day off. I want to fall back to sleep. Okay, bye. So, you just saw me make my breakfast, and I weighed myself this morning. I am 214.2. I am back, guys. I am back. And I attribute it to eating healthy. Um, no sweets, no candy, no hot Cheetos this week. I did have like a side of fries on Tuesday night. Um, I'm probably gonna have another side of fries tonight because I'm going to Chick-fil-A and then Yeah, but I've been eating very healthy. So 214.2 and I'm excited <sighs> 30 minutes on the bike done and dusted Just got out the gym. I did only 30 minutes on the bike today. I definitely did not want to go to the gym, but once I was like up in the car on my way, I was like, you know, I'm feeling awake. I always feel extremely tired. And I'm like, I don't want to do this, but I'm feeling good about my body. <sighs> Anyways, let's get the day. So, I did 30 minutes on the stairs and 15 minutes on the bike. It's now, I'm not sure, 6 o'clock. Um, I definitely woke up at 4.50, got to the gym around 5. So, I was like, well, oh yeah, it's like 5.55. Um, so, I was able to do 45 minutes of cardio, which is, sorry, the camera's really shaky. <sighs> healthy. I did have a cookie, um, an oatmeal cookie last night and some like these little tasty bite clusters. I'll show them later. Um, if I go to Trader Joe's, I might pick them up again. They're really, really good. And then over the weekend, oh gosh, over the weekend, I, <laughs> I had Chick-fil-A on Saturday and then Sunday I like got pink eye I had pink eye for a couple days and I didn't realize I had it um, I was like I'll just stay home on Sunday and my friend from work he bought me ramen um, like this really nice ramen and so I ate that with an egg like a poached egg and then I also had like gummies and an entire pint of ice cream this is the vegan raspberry brownie ice cream from sweet action it's my favorite one and that was like my dinner a pint of ice cream so yeah and I also just came off my period so I was just like you know what I deserve this so but I've been eating healthy it's Thursday yeah today's Thursday so I just will turn this off yeah today's Thursday and We'll see. I still feel pretty good. These leggings that I have on right now, these black ones, I rarely wear them because I bought them in a size large and they would always feel really tight and kind of dig in because they have like weird seams around them because they have like a kind of cool cutout design and they fit really, really well today. Like the best that they've ever fit and I'm just like, oh, and they go really like, they never were high-waisted on me because I bought them in a size too small, but like I fit into them as in I forced myself to fit into them but they're for sure high-waisted 
which is really cool like they go up to like where my bra like meets so it's like wow I fit into a large now and my legs are just looking a little bit smaller which is exciting so progress is happening but I need to get home it's 5 57 gotta get ready for work gotta get ready for the day and yeah I will see you tomorrow morning Ugh. good morning it's Saturday morning I weighed myself and I weighed two thirteen point four pounds I haven't weighed this amount since I was in high school and in high school this was my heaviest um so yeah and I also think undergrad as well so I just woke up so my face is like swollen um face is always swollen in the morning and yeah this week I ate healthy but I did have some desserts last night like I ate healthy throughout the day and I went to Barnes and Nobles to read a book. <laughs> and I got a lemon bar. Um, and I was just like, hmm, I'm just gonna eat this lemon bar because I needed to get something in order to sit in the cafe. And then earlier this week, I did have like, I think I had garbanzos for dinner on Thursday night. Um, and on Wednesday night, I think I had like an oatmeal raisin cookie with these like little bites, like cluster bites. Um, they're like dark chocolate, but it has like these different types of nuts in it. Um, they're from Trader Joe's. They're really good. I'm trying to think of what else. Yeah, I think that's been it, but other than that, it's been. So I talked about these little snack things that I've been liking. They're called dark chocolate nutty bits. They're sweet, crunchy nuts, smooth dark chocolate, and a hint of fleur de sel with 60% cacao, and they're gluten-free. And this is what they look like. They're from Trader Joe's. They're really, really delicious. Um, I've been liking them for a snack, but I thought I would, I thought I would check in. This is like kind of what it looks like. Not all of them are completely covered in chocolate. Usually half of it is, but I guess this bag, all of them are covered in chocolate. yesterday kind of a cheat day um as well I had uh, for breakfast I had my avocado and toast with egg and bacon and then for lunch I had a turmeric latte and a almonds raspberry croissant which was delicious it was like raspberry filling and then I had like an hour later <laughs> a side of fries at um, a brewery um, and kombucha and then for dinner I had a scoop of ice cream a small scoop of ice cream at an ice cream shop with my friend and I also had some of those little nutty bites because I went and got groceries after. And I got some snacks because I'm going on a hike today in Boulder for Father's Day with my other friend. And so, yeah. Yesterday was kind of like a cheat. But it's still way the same, so. I weighed myself this morning. I might have gained I think I said it was 213.42 and I went up like 0.4 pounds.
pounds. Which I feel like is a win. So because I'm still it says 213 at the front. So I'm like, that's a win. Anyways, I'm gonna start editing the May weight loss recap. Because I gotta get on top of it. And just like that, I finished at the gym. I did some ab workouts, well, just two, one set each. Um, and then I did 30 minutes on the stairs. Man, it's 5.47, I'm tired. I'm so tired. Hopefully, well, tomorrow, I don't think, I'm, tonight I don't think I'm gonna go to bed early. Cause I'm talking with some of my best friends tonight. We FaceTime in. So yeah, I'm for sure not gonna go to bed early. It's probably gonna be another day of what I did today. See you in my next check-in. Got another workout in. Did arms today and then 30 minutes on the stairs, 15 minutes on the bike. Past couple days have not eaten that well. Um, also didn't go to the gym either. So this is only my second time at the gym this week. So, haven't kept up with the whole um, four times a week this week, but that's okay. I am kind of maintaining the weight. Wait, I gained a little bit as in I'm no longer like 213 or whatever. I'm 213. So, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, workout is done. I lied earlier. So I'm just not really, I've only gone to the gym a couple of times this week. Literally today being my second time. So, but that's okay. It happens. It happens. I just keep thinking back to the time where I like did that little thing where I was like, I'm really upset. And I'm like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be super upset. I was just really frustrated with my weight. And it's all down to me. I slept through my four o'clock alarm. Well, not that I slept through it. I woke up to it and I was like, oh, let me sleep for five more minutes. And then I just kept sleeping. And now it's 519 and I'm like, I just, I need to do like 30 minutes of something at the gym. So I'm just really tired and I got enough sleep. I just like, was like, no. <laughs> Okay, at least I'm getting some cardio in. I feel fine about that, but my goodness. I was not in it this morning to just wake up at four. It's like, no, I'm so tired. The sunrise looks so beautiful though. I wish I could show you. Anyways, I'm gonna get this 30 minutes on the stairs and then I'll wake up because I'm so tired. So tired. Well, I officially look like I'm dying. You know when you work out and you're feeling really sluggish and tired and kind of like hazy? That's how I felt. And I got it in. I did the 30 minutes on the stairs, but my goodness, I am. I know I could have pushed myself harder, but. 
I just felt so groggy. Maybe I didn't know I could push myself harder because I'm still very tired. Anyways, see you in the next one. Ooh, I look awful. Good morning from a sick jazz. I just made myself some ginger tea. Um, and I weighed myself this morning. myself this morning and I weighed 212.4 yesterday I was like fine I've been like having this um, I had like an allergy pink eye a couple weeks ago and then I confirmed with the doctor that it was just allergies and so I should take Zyrtec and Flonase so I started taking that and then yesterday after lunch I started feeling like my throat get a little scratchy and it's like feeling like it's hard to swallow kind of thing and I was like oh my gosh I hope I'm not getting sick and then I got home and the feeling got worse in my mouth and like in my throat but yesterday you saw I worked out I ate healthy you know this weekend didn't really eat that healthy because I had oxtail I had Cuban food um, which was so good. They made some really good oxtail because my friend sang and I did that. And then I also went on like a four mile hike um, before that. Um, so in terms of food, it wasn't like super, super healthy, but like it was good food. And then I had brunch on Sunday with some coworkers. Lunch, lunch, not brunch. And I had like this nacho flatbread with goat cheese because your girl is lactose intolerant so I could not do the cow dairy but goat dairy all about that um and like I gained like a little bit of weight from it but then like I think a pound from it but I was like I'm not super worried then I've been eating healthy and I'm at 212.4 so I feel like I'm doing good um I'm just sick so I bought some ginger tea from H Mart and it's like ginger crystals. Oh my gosh, I hate this throat right now. Like I hate the feeling of a sore throat. But I have a doctor's appointment at 10 today. Oh, man, it's so difficult to speak. I have a doctor's appointment at 10 today to see what's going on. So your girl's sick. But then there's a way to date. This bright, because of how like allergy ridden sick I've been, I was thinking that I wouldn't work out today, but I did. I did 30 minutes on the stairs, 15 minutes on the bike. I feel like that's all I've done this month is just cardio. But still in like the 212, 213 weight range, nothing's really changing at the end of this month. But I have a wedding tomorrow. And then the Denver Taco Festival on Sunday. So I just weighed myself just now. I said, I know I said earlier that my last update would be at the gym. Um, but I just weighed myself after I got out of the shower. I weigh 211 pounds and 8 ounces. Eleven point eight. What? So, I guess that's like my final way for the month. That means I'm only like eleven pounds away from being out of the two hundreds. That makes me so, so excited. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Lord. I. God, oh my gosh, you are so good. So you just saw the June recap and you saw that your girl is at 211.8 pounds, which means that I've lost 21.2 pounds, guys. And that on the app that I'm using, the MyFitnessPal app, which I'll bring up here in a second, 
this little app here. You can track your progress and it shows I started at 233. It's a little graph there because you can log in your weight. I started at 233 pounds, which was last July 2018, which is when I started this journey. And now currently I'm weighing 211.8, which means I'm down 21.2 pounds and apparently 9.1% in body fat. So I've shrunk down 9% body fat, which is amazing and really, really exciting. So I'm feeling really good about this. I'm feeling amazing and I can't believe I started this journey almost a year ago. Um, currently, today is July 4th that I'm filming this. Happy birthday, America. And yeah, I'm just really, really excited that I have stuck on this journey. Um, it's been difficult, it's not easy to lose weight, but I've stuck through it and kept this discipline and this routine. And my goal for this summer is trying to work out at least four times a week. I don't need to do five, I don't need to do six, I don't need to do seven. Four times a week is perfect for me. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I typically do about 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes of cardio, um, which you guys have seen. And then when I'm doing the weights, I'll either do the HIIT exercises by Massey Iris, which I can link down below, or I kind of do my own exercises, which will be about six different types of exercises, whether I'm doing arms, upper body, or legs, lower body. And I will do three sets of 15 to 20 reps with five pound dumbbells in each arm, or I'll do a kettlebell at like 15 to 20 pounds. I keep the weight of the weights that I'm using pretty light because I bulk up very easily. And what I'm trying to do right now is just trying to lean out as much as possible. And then once I get to a state that I'm kind of happy with in terms of my leanness, then I can up the weights of what I'm kind of lifting and so I can start to kind of build a little bit more mass and kind of bulk up a little bit more. Um, in terms of food, you guys are seeing what I'm eating. It's typically avocado on toast with egg and bacon in the morning, salads for lunch and dinner, and then I have my snacks um, and then my cheat meals and stuff like that. So yeah, that is the news for June. I'm really, really excited. I, I can't believe I'm at this point where I'm at 211.8. I, I'm really excited to where I can get out of the 200s and be in the 100s um, again. So I haven't been in the 100, you know, range like 190 something, once you know, 80 whatever, since high school. Like actually, probably middle school was like the probably the last time I was, I saw one at the beginning of the scale for me. Because in high school, it started at two, and I've been there for such a long time. I'm turning 26 in August, so I'm really excited to see that two go to a one. Um, and it's definitely gonna be a great, great accomplishment. But I'm working really hard, and I'm glad that you guys are here with me as I'm documenting this journey of me losing weight. I'm no longer trying, I'm succeeding. And the fact is, like, me, recording and vlogging this entire experience is keeping me accountable to actually do it. So if you're in the same boat as me where you're trying to lose weight or you're trying to figure out like how this is gonna work, document it and hopefully it can help keep you accountable by just posting being like, well, I gotta eat healthier and I have to make better decisions with the foods that I'm eating um, and also go to the gym and try to work out. Um, I'm not saying that you should completely deprive yourself of food because I don't. I mean, I am, it's 4th of July today, I'm having a burger. <laughs> Granted, I am having it with some broccoli, which is definitely new, because I would definitely just eat a lot of brown foods, brown and beige foods throughout the entire day, and then eat until I'm super, super stuffed, which is not ideal. I eat till I'm feeling full and then kind of wait a bit and then if I know I can eat some more then I'll kind of do that but I'm no longer doing this thing where I'm eating to the point where I can feel how full I am and continue eating because I see food so that's a change in itself and also another thing that I noticed this past week was that at the beginning of this year it's July I, I know that this 
year is going by fast still, but at the beginning of this year, I can only do about 20, 15 to 20 minutes on the Stairmaster. Now I can do 30, 30 minutes on the Stairmaster at a level four all the way through, which is progress. And also like I'm no longer, I mean, I still kind of do shake a little bit when doing the reps and stuff like that in terms of weights for either arms or legs, but my stamina has definitely improved. My breathing has improved. My form has improved. It's not the best, but it's slowly improving. And you guys, I'm sure can see that in the videos where I'm kind of documenting that as well. But yeah, I'm, it's, it's all a journey. It's all a process. I'm really, really excited about it. And I'm glad that you guys are along the ride with me and I'm not by myself in this. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of this journey with me. And I would ask that, you know, subscribe again so you can keep up with me and be notified and hit that bell so you can be notified anytime I upload a video and stay kind, stay true and stay laughing guys. And I'm so, so excited that the year mark is almost here. I'm not exactly where I want to be in terms of my journey, but at the same time, I'm not where I started. I'm not at 233 pounds, I'm at 211. It's a huge, huge accomplishment and I'm really, really excited about it. And yeah, I'm just super thankful and really grateful for this journey that I'm on it. I'm continuing to push forward and I encourage you if you're on this journey as well to be healthier, even if it's just in one way or one area of your life. Um, I encourage you that you can do it because I'm doing it in my life and it's working out for me. I'm noticing the changes in my body, like my arms, like granted, they are still big. I'm not gonna lie about that, but they're smaller. Like they're a lot smaller than what I started and they don't juggle as much, which is like progress there. And even my stomach's gone down, my legs have slimmed down, my wrists used to be like so much bigger. And I'm just noticing all these like small changes, which, you know, you continue on this road, on this journey and doing like seeing the little small changes will lead up to bigger, grander, exciting changes. So I'm feeling very positive. I'm feeling very good. Um, and yeah, anyway, stay kind, stay true, stay laughing. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.